Hello and welcome to another episode of FPV News. It's December, so that probably means you spent all your money on people you don't even like, and now I'm going to tell you a bunch of things you wish you could buy. So until you pay those credit cards off, here's some things to keep on your radar. First on the list is Archangel FPV. They've just released their DR1 limited edition micro, mini, and macro drones, a 2-inch, 3-inch, and 5-inch drone on 2S, 3S, and 4S batteries. All of these drones have an F4 processor and a 40 amp all-in-one ESC. I chatted with Dave Thompson and CEO founder of Archangel. He mentioned that his drones were designed for all abilities. He didn't want somebody to outgrow the product, but more grow into. They're made from the best quality parts he could find and they're assembled in the USA. They conveniently located the VTX on the side of the drone to make it very simple to swap frequencies and they have their Halo Signature COB LED lighting on them which makes them beautiful when they're flying around in the air. The Archangel DR1 limited edition quads will have a ready to fly and a bind to fly package. The ready to fly will come with a battery charger and a Spectrum DX8 controller. The 2 inch will come with a Fat Shark controller that runs FlySky. The DR1 limited edition lineup is priced a little high, but the quality and craftsmanship invested in these quads is enough to entice seasoned veteran pilots as well as newbies. Next on the list is this mean little guy. It's the Diatone GTR90. It has an F4 processor and a 4-in-1 ESC BL Heli that runs 4S. It also has 1104 6000 kV motors and supports OSD and smart audio. Slap a nice little turtle cam or split cam on this thing and you have a really nice proximity flyer. Look forward to seeing a lot more footage coming from Diatone. Another beautiful proximity flyer you should be looking at is the full speed Tiny Leader. This little guy is a 75mm frame, F411 beta flight processor, BL Heli 3S all-in-one ESCs. It also has a VTX going from 25 to 600 milliwatts, 1103, 11,000 kV motors, and the HD version comes with a Cadex Turtle V2 camera. If you're looking for a high definition tiny whoop out of the box, this is probably the closest thing you're gonna get. If you've been debating between the Tiny Hawk and the Mobula 7, maybe you should look at a third quad. The LDARC GT7. This is a 75 millimeter brushless whoop with 9,000 kV motors, SP Racing F3 processor, and a 10 amp BL Heli all-in-one ESC. Drone Camp RC did a good comparison video against the Mobula 7, saying how it handled great, could perform well, and do good freestyle. It was heavier than the Mobula 7, but that could help it in the wind. So if you're on the fence, maybe this will help for a tipping point. Let's get away from pre-assembled drones and get into some of the parts. New from Rush FPV, they've come out with a new VTX called the Tank. This thing supposedly has VTX lock on, so eight quads can fly simultaneously on the same band without using left to right polarity antennas and have no crossover bleed from another channel. I had to dig a little deeper to see what it is that Rush Tank is doing that makes their VTX so much better. They told me they're using a power mapping table that helps with the dynamic calibration of the signal. They said they're using a very high precision phase lock loop. And if you're unfamiliar with a phase lock loop, basically your VTX is sending out a signal. And as it sends out that signal, it takes part of that signal and sends it back into the input to make sure it's calibrated to the direct frequency it wants to be on. If there's any frequency drift, it's constantly monitoring that to make sure it's locked on. And that's the new feature that they have. Hopefully Rush Tank isn't all hype because their new system sounds very cool. And if you can get eight pilots racing on the same frequency with no frequency drift, you're going to make it incredibly easy in the future for people to pick up any channel and race. Thank you. And last tonight for all these cool products, it's Mocha Frame. They just released this frame called the Gravity. And it's a 3 inch or 4 inch prop frame that has collapsible arms similar to what a Mavic would do. In this day and age, with everybody coming out with their own special frame, left and right, everywhere you see, it's good to see a breath of fresh air coming from Mocha, thinking outside the box and just trying other things that other companies are doing. The frame does look really cool and it uses T700 carbon fiber, and of course will come with a one year warranty. 
We always close out with a featured pilot. But before I get into that, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Right now I'm going to be giving away an Alien Whoop Project Zero flight controller, and all you have to do is comment down below and subscribe. What do you think of FPV news? Do you have some constructive criticism? Maybe a news article I should talk about next time. Or possibly a pilot that I should feature on the next episode. Let me know in the comments. The whole purpose of FPV news is to consolidate and highlight the latest and greatest technology coming up in this fast-paced sport. Technology is always moving and it's hard to keep up. So our featured pilot now is Shane and he comes from Phoenix, Arizona. He's the random dad and I can relate to him because I'm just your average dad. He has a really positive attitude and he's very motivated. He's still getting into it but look forward to a lot of things coming out of Phoenix from him. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Break, 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 break